You won't believe what happened to Stanford University. They recently fell victim to a crazy ransomware attack. Can you imagine? And who do you think carried out this attack? The notorious Akira ransomware group. Okay, so here's the story of how Stanford University, one of the most prestigious institutions in the world, fell victim to a devastating ransomware attack orchestrated by the notorious Akira ransomware group. Brace yourself for the technical details. It all started when a seemingly innocent email made its way into the university's computer network. Unbeknownst to the staff, this innocent-looking email contained a malicious attachment that carried the Akira ransomware. Once someone within the university unknowingly opened the attachment, it triggered the ransomware, which swiftly began spreading through the university's systems like wildfire. The Akira ransomware, known for its advanced encryption techniques and merciless behavior, quickly infiltrated Stanford's network, seizing control of critical files, servers, and databases. This digital invasion was cunningly orchestrated by the criminal masterminds behind the Akira group, who were notorious for their targeted attacks on high-profile institutions. As the Akira ransomware spread throughout Stanford's network, it encrypted sensitive information stored on the university's servers, financial databases, student records, research documents, and even faculty information were all locked away behind an impenetrable wall of cryptography. This had severe consequences for the university, impacting not only its daily operations, but also putting the personal information of 27,000 individuals at risk. In a matter of minutes, Chaos ensued within the university's IT department. Panic-stricken tech experts raced against the clock to isolate infected machines and servers. But the ruthless Akira ransomware continued to make its way through the network, infecting one after another. It became painfully clear that Stanford was facing a formidable opponent. Realizing the severity of the situation, university administrators made the tough decision to engage with the Akira ransomware group. They had no choice but to negotiate a ransom payment in exchange for a decryption key to regain access to their encrypted files. The cost of refusing to comply was simply too high, as critical data held hostage by the Akira group could have severe consequences. While the technical intricacies of ransom negotiations remained undisclosed, it is believed that Stanford ultimately paid a significant sum as a ransom to the Akira ransomware group. In return, they received a decryption key to unlock their compromised systems and restore their access to critical data. This enabled them to gradually recover from the attack and resume normal operations. The impact of the attack, however, was not limited to the university's financial losses and the ransom paid. The breach of personal information belonging to 27,000 individuals raised concerns of potential identity theft and exposed sensitive data. Stanford had to face the daunting task of notifying and supporting those affected, as well as implementing stricter security measures to prevent future attacks. This incident serves as a stark reminder that even esteemed institutions like Stanford University are not immune to the growing menace of ransomware attacks. It underscores the need for constant vigilance and the implementation of robust cybersecurity measures to protect against such threats in an ever-evolving digital landscape. Thanks for joining. Remember, knowledge is your best defense. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and keep on decoding the hack. Don't forget to subscribe for more security insights, and hit the bell for alerts when new videos drop. Until next time, stay safe in the digital jungle.